Hello, and welcome back to the speedest run. I am a bee. And I can actually fly. Ooh, and snare bears, because they snare bears, do not snare bees. That's what they're called, snare bear. Of course, you're not really supposed to know that until you go through the credits. Because uh, another thing I really liked about uh, Banjo Kazooie is the credits give you the cast of characters while telling you who made the game. That was a thing that was done in... Ooh, another Jiggy. Uh, a thing that was done in Super Mario back on the NES and Super Nintendo. Can I get it? No, but I can land next to it. So that's the highest platform. Eerie the eagles snoozing away. Um, yeah, so it gives you a cast of characters as well as creators. And it's really good, because a lot of the names, you wouldn't think that they'd be called that. Like a snare bear, or big butt the bull, and nab nuts. No, he probably says his name. But still, Nab Nuts, come on. I get it, he's a squirrel, but it's, it's a kid's game. Uh, I think that's all I can do. No, I didn't go into the frickin' beehive. The reason you're a bee. Stupid. But I got some gold feathers and I got that Jinjo. Okay, so go into the beehive and... And what, there'll just be, there'll be another Jinjo in here. That's right. Fat, how dare you. Yes, guard the golden honey. And there is a bear out there, but, uh... He's me! But I'm a bee, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, I think you come back in summer, because in fall they're too busy moving out, and in winter the hive is destroyed. Okay, that should be everything that the bee can do. Get a Jiggy, and get a Ginger. Which is a fifth of the Jiggy, really. Excellent. So, let's, instead of going back to Mumbo, let's just go to Click Clock Summer. Oh, we can hold B and buzz faster. Okay. I like the trees up here, for no reason. You see little atmosphere touches. Um... I also like how you have to go into each season to get the next season, so you can't go out of order. That's clever. I'm a little magic at week. Even though the bee would be just awesome in every other season, but, uh, no, well, I guess it doesn't go across time. Oh, the eagle's hungry and wants five caterpillars. Awesome. Apparently it's very hot because that guy has taken his shirt off. Ooh, look, a caterpillar. And and he knows, so he tells you, in case Eerie didn't, you didn't wake up Eerie before you came here, they let you know that, hey, I'm going to be used for something. Also, these birds got bigger, which now I would expect them to do two hearts worth of damage. Or two hits worth of damage because they're huge. Not in spring, though. Ooh, look, another jiggy. You'll remember I was here in spring as the bee, and there was not a jiggy. Another mumbo token that I absolutely do not need at all. Oh my! Haha! <laughs> Saved it. 
Okay, red feathers are around the tree in summer, which matches the yellow ground kind of drought. Stricken, drought stricken, that's, that's the word I was looking for. And yet the leaves are great. The wood is, like, kind of bleached, maybe, and, and the ground, as I said, was drought-stricken. But the leaves, just the brilliant green hue, perfectly healthy. Ooh, another caterpillar. I have two. I, see, I saw one over by Mumbo. Didn't grab it. Didn't go to grab it. Is there something? In th There's a Jiggy in there. And I always, um would jump over to the extra life and then to the jiggy but you're actually supposed to wait till fall and it will still be there which is weird because the thing next to the the, the jiggy I just got isn't it isn't there in the spring at least it's it might stay to fall I don't know I've never watched Okay, there's a caterpillar down here. That guy has like a Robin Hood inspired name. Something like Grubbin Hood or something. Oh look, you're fat. Nabnut's eating too many acorns. And you have no more for winter. Way to go, stupid squirrel. Oh, and now the birds have migrated to this part of the tree, which is just great. Uh, he's hungry. I, I think there's a caterpillar behind him. No, I, that might be later, or that might be um, some sort of hallucination memory that I had. What's up here now? Empty snare bear, but they're giant, and this should still be empty. Yeah. Why can't you do that? Uh, yeah, this is nothing in here. I never have to come back in here again. Alright. Let's just pick up some caterpillars for my baby eagle. Alright, that's four. He wants one more. Should I get that other golden feather? Yeah, because I'm going to go into the beehive eventually. And invincibility against those bees is just completely overpowered. And I like that. Because it's not like they're people and they care. I'm not sure they care, but they're not gonna audibly voice their concerns. Alright, let's do this. They're all gone. No, no, they're here. Yeah. Sting him. I don't know if I have enough gold feathers. Oh, nope, just enough. Oh, well, we were getting bored anyway. <laughs> Stupid bees. We were getting bored. No, you, you win. Fine. I don't care. I'm bored. I'm just gonna do B things now. Stupid. I'm trying to take away from my victory. Anyway, that's about ten minutes. So, I'll see you guys in part three. Twenty-nine. Part twenty-nine. Bye!